Hi, Rafael. Oh, sorry. How are you? How are you doing? I'm great, thank you. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. It's good to see you again. Good to see you again. It's cool. <laughs> so, are you at work? Yes, yes, I'm at work. And okay. here is six and a half a.m. in Brazil. Wow, okay, that's very early. Very early. I, yeah. I start early at night yet, you know? Yeah. Because I work remotely to Portugal and I have four oh. four hour difference. Difference, yeah. Different time zone, you know. But okay. I am used to work this way. Yeah, okay, makes sense. Makes sense. <laughs> um here okay. it's eleven twenty-nine. Eleven? Yeah. Half past 11 11. tonight. Yes, 11th uh, tonight. Perfect. Where, where are you live? Where are you stay right now? Right now I stay in Zambia. Zambia. Ah, okay. In in Portugal we ten and twenty night. No, a.m. Okay. All right. Over there is five hours difference of Brazil. Yes, five Perfect. hours. It's yeah. good. Interesting. <laughs> So let's go. I have here a lesson about yeah. uh, about uh, business English for work and career. Okay. Five 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 works uh, you need to know. Uh, team player. Mm -hmm. Team player. She she has all the quality of an ex ex excellent team player. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. collab collaborative. 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 Okay. Collaborative. Collaborative. Okay. Uh, a British company collabor collaborated with a French firm to develop the product. Is this is a sample about the word yeah. uh, co-working or shared workspace. Shared workspace. Shared workspace, perfect. But uh, co-worker or shared uh, workspace is about a place where the people share to work. You know? Yes. But uh, when, when you have a colleague that work with you, can I call them, uh, can I call him or her uh, co-working? This is my co-worker. Co this is my co-worker, okay. This yes, is my co-worker. So, for instance, like with you, how you're saying you're doing, um, uh, you work remotely, right? Mm -hmm. But even the people who are in your company, in the same company that you work for, those are still your co-workers. So it's mm -hmm. still correct. A colleague is a co-worker. It's still correct. It's cool, perfect. And it's, it's, is it usually use it? Yeah. People use it all the time. You can say my coworker, you can say my colleague. They're interchangeable, so you can you can use either. Okay, perfect. It's cool. Yeah. Startup or startup, what's what's best? What's the best? It's a, it doesn't matter. If if you're American, you'll probably say startup. <laughs> if you're British, you'll probably say startup. So <laughs> both are correct. Okay. Because in Brazil, we use these words a lot. Startup, you know, I have a startup yeah. in technology. Yes. I, I, you know. But yeah. startup, I, startup, I heard about other, uh, I heard other professors on Cambly speaking mm -hmm. startup, you know? Yeah, yeah. because most of, most of the, the teachers on Cambly are American, so they'll say startup. It's cool, perfect. Yeah. I need to I need to drink your coffee or yeah, go ten, ahead. ten <laughs> coffees. <laughs> okay. So you can stay awake because you've been awake yes. for so long. <laughs> so you stay awake. <laughs> okay, and uh, these words I don't know if I pronounce correct. Entrepreneur. 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 Is it because okay? it's actually it's borrowed from French. It's a it's a borrowed word. It's actually a French word. So you pronounce it this the way a French person would. So it's entrepreneur. Ah, interesting. Entrepreneur came from French. Mm, perfect. Yes. Uh, this, this entrepreneur made their money in technology and media. This is the example. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
multi multinational 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 tesco is one of the biggest multinational in the uk mm -hmm. okay oh so just just a note on that um some pronunciations like with americans they won't say multi they'll say multi so they'll multi. say multinational whereas mm -hmm. uh british english will say multinational Okay, perfect. Understood. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, this kind of accents uh, make me some confused, you know. They're because... very confusing. They are very confusing because one, yeah. and for some people, they won't tell you both of them are correct. They'll tell you only one is correct, which is not true. People use, especially because of British and American English, people use different. So, for example, um, in Africa, Mm -hmm. uh, most African countries were colonized by the British, which is why my pronunciation will be more of the British one and not the American one, because that's what I learned. Okay. So Perfect. it just depends on where you are. Yeah. But the UK, you came from UK, or where where are you where are you learn English? Um, in South Africa. Well, actually, I first I was born in Malawi, but even Malawi is colonized by the British, so uh, the English okay. there pronunciation is more British and then I, m I grew up in South Africa I moved to South Africa when I was very young so I grew up in South Africa even there the pronunciation is British so mm -hmm. that's why <laughs> that's why we say we'll say maybe multinational instead of multinational perfect no your English yeah. is very soft for me you know it's uh, it's oh, makes sense you. for me your I appreciate uh, it. <laughs> in, in South in South Africa, the mm -hmm. the mother language is English. Not the mother language, but it's just it's the language that we use in school, in school mm. and for business. But um, they have their own their own native languages. Ah, perfect. The same yeah. language, the honor language. Yeah. So there are in South Africa there are eleven languages that people speak. Eleven language. Hmm. <laughs> Do you think that's crazy? In uh, in Zambia, where I am now, there's 72. <laughs> you are crazy. <laughs> I'm telling you, you should Google it. Google how many languages are in Zambia. 72. <laughs> so there are many languages in Africa, yeah. But the most common one that people speak for business use and for education is English. But it's very interesting. You need uh, you you use a language to study, other language to business, other language in, in at, home, at home, yes. other language with <laughs> your friends. You know, in day to day, it's it's yeah. very crazy. It is crazy. I think that's why you'll find many people in Africa speak many languages because you know they have to communicate with different people at different times. But some languages are more commonly spoken than others. So perfect. You are you growing up uh, used to her a lot of language and a lot of languages yeah it, it's some important. of them stick some of them not really but yeah some of them do stick it's cool then <laughs> it's cool interesting <laughs> thanks <laughs> okay uh, disruption disruption or disruption disruption or disruptive mm -hmm. or disruptive okay. Airbnb, Netflix, and Uber are examples of disruptive, disruptive brands that have created new markets. Yes. Okay, perfect. Uh, gig economy. What's gig? Hmm. Can you write that down for me? I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I think it's something I just don't know. <laughs> I paste it in the chat. Gig economy. Gig economy. No, I. The pronunciation is correct. I just don't know what it means, but uh, okay. pronunciation is correct. There is an example here. In a gig company, workers are paid for the gigs that they do, such okay. as couriers from uh -huh. delivery companies. Yes. Okay. So um, another word for a gig is like a short job. That's a gig. Mm, yeah. Like a freelancer. Like a. It like can a, be a freelancer. But yeah, it's like just a short job. Like for instance, the one that uh, the example they used of a of a delivery person, one delivery mm -hmm. that they make, they say that, that they can say that's one gig. Or let's say if I'm a singer and mm -hmm. somebody has hired me to sing in their club for one night, 
I can say I have a gig tonight. It's like it's okay. a short job. Yeah. It makes me like a temporary work. A temporary, or, yeah. Yeah, like a punctual work. I know, I understood. Yeah. Understood very well. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Budget. Is a budget, budget. or bu budget? Budget. Budget. For example, the marketing budget will be announced in the next meeting. Mm -hmm. Is it okay? Budget. Perfect. Yes. Just a moment. Uh, I need to back to the gig economy because in the mm -hmm. example, there is a word that I don't pronounce it. Careers. Careers. Yeah, actually, you're, you're, you're almost there. Careers. Careers. Okay. What about careers? A career is somebody, is somebody who does deliveries, who makes deliveries. So like a delivery man, that's a career. Or a company. Ah, okay. It can be a person or a company. So a company like DHL mm -hmm. or FedEx. Those are courier companies because they deliver okay. things. Yeah. Couriers is a is a job, is a role, yes? It's a role, yes. Um, okay. I'm a courier or I work for a courier company. Okay, so, yeah, so well. interesting. Yes. Uh, diversify or diversification. Yes. Uh, the company has diversified into new product areas. Mm -hmm. Okay. So with that one again, um, don't get confused if you hear someone say diversify. It's likely they're probably British. A British person mm -hmm. will probably say diversify, and and an American will probably say diversify. So okay. it's both correct. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> uh, expand or expansion. Mm -hmm. Expand, mm -hmm. expansion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are we are planning to expand our sales division next year, so we will be hiring 100 new staff. Yes, that is expand. Make something bigger. Expand. Hire more people to expand the team and to expand, expand the company. The exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Perfect. It's cool. Yeah. It's cool. A new world for me. If you have, if you have, yeah. if you have more children, you are expanding your family. So mm -hmm. expand to make it bigger. I have two. Okay. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Congrats. <laughs> I have two. Arthur and Laura. Arthur is five, and Laura is three. Oh, that's so cute. That's sweet. Yeah. So yeah. you see, if you have more, then you expand the family. Perfect. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. Uh, freelance. Freelance. Uh, after yeah. after work, working at the company for many years, he decides to go to go freelancer. To go freelance, he decides to go freelance. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Uh, consultant, consult or consulting? Consultant. Consultant. Okay, yes, perfect. There you go. Consultant. He Consult now works. Consult consultant he now he now works as an it consultant in various organizations various various yeah various organizations when there is this kind of word various that is the same in portuguese it's very complicated you know because in portuguese oh. it's various <laughs> eu okay. tenho vários computadores i have Various computers, you know? <laughs> okay, yeah. Because, you know, I mean, if you look at English, um, English, uh, what's this, French, Portuguese, Spanish, they all come from Latin. So they have some words which are the same or similar. Yeah, yeah. So it yes. makes sense. Yeah. Yes, it's cool. I know that I know that the problem is to understand the long context, you know? For me, mm. for example, when I am change ideas with you, for now, yeah. you know, for example, right now, it's okay for me, but when I am in a meeting, for example, because there is a long uh, conversation uh, around a uh, context, it's very complicated for me to pay attention and keep my attention in this call, you know. No, I understand. That makes sense. I think it happens to everyone who's learning a language. Shorter sentences and... It's easier, but yeah. a long discussion yes. may be harder. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you. Thank very you, Rafael. See you Thank soon. You. Have a good day. You too. Thanks. Bye.